Okay, so yesterday I held my uh, my second ever uh, bowling tournament. First one of this year. And wow, that sun is really bright. Uh, give me just a second here as I start to turn. Maybe that, uh, maybe that glare will go away. <laughs> um, but uh, I hosted my second tournament yesterday and it went really well. Um, quite a few people showed up uh, and there were some good matches, there was some good play. I got some videos, I'm gonna load those videos up after I after I do my, my talk here. Um, and uh, I was really excited about it. Two other bowling alleys approached me yesterday wanting me to uh, potentially host tournaments at their locations too. So definitely be hosting some more tournaments. Um, I created a Facebook page and uh, to kind of monitor that and post my tournaments and stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited about it. Looks like I'll be hosting some more tournaments, which is good. Um, I'm also gonna be competing in some bowling tournaments coming up, which I'm also you know, equally as excited for because I, I like to compete as much as I like to host these tournaments. Um, but there is a question about tournaments I want to pose to anyone who watches this video because I am really curious your thoughts on it um, because this did come up yesterday not in a negative way by any means um, those are my bowling balls if you heard them uh, I'm going to practice right now <laughs> but uh, uh, this question got brought up yesterday um, so when I posted the flyer for my tournament I posted that you know we'll use the standard you know 90% of 220 for your handicap and it was open to everyone um, and so that's that's what most leagues use not all leagues we know that uh, but most leagues will use that I think it's a pretty standard USBC now 90% of 220 um, but you know for those scratch bowlers who don't have a handicap and they're averaging you know 220 or you know 230 or whatever at their house shot and then you go to a new house with a new house shot you know you're probably not going to average 230. Um, you'll probably be a two teen or you know, baby 200 bowler there. So what my question is, and I really want this down in the comments, um, is you know your your perspective on if you're a scratch bowler, and you know you, you would be turned away from a 90% of 220 tournament. Like I understand that, but what handicap do you feel is fair to you? but also fair to the people who can't average that 220, 230 to make it competitive between the two. Because that's the sweet spot I want to find moving forward. Because what I found yesterday is that, is that uh, the only, I want to say, two people finished in the top four that were scratch bowlers. The, the actual first and second place winners were a decent handicap, uh, two people. and. So I'm really curious, you know, what is that sweet spot? Because 90% of 220, I don't think is is the the correct answer, because I do believe that makes it just a little too hard for scratch bowlers to compete. Because at the tournament yesterday, a scratch bowler would have had to have averaged about 234, 232, 234 in order to qualify, and uh, that's that's a substantial challenge, um, and and I get that even though EJ just averaged that at the Tournament of Champions every day. <laughs> but he's EJ Taggett, he can do that. Um, so what's the sweet spot? Is it, you know, is it 90% of 220? Is it 90% of 200? You know, so I kind of want in the comments down below what you think it should be. Um, because I am taking this feedback. I took some feedback from some of the people there at the tournament. Um, and of course, a couple of other bowling alleys that want me to host, they gave me some ideas on it too. So I'm really curious, like I said, what you think? What percentage as a scratch bowler would you be willing to go to if you saw a handicap tournament? If you saw 90% of 220, you're probably gonna be turned off and I understand that. But what percentage would not turn you off for going to a handicap tournament? And as a handicap bowler, you know, what percentage is too low for you? Like if we did, 90% of 200 um, as a handicap bowler, you may be like, well, I'm, I'm not going to get much of my, you know, my normal 90% of 220, so I'm not going to go because I'm not going to be able to compete. You know, so what is that sweet spot? That's what I want to know. Um, but anyways, please put that down in the comments below. Uh, we'll be hosting more tournaments. I got some videos I'm going to post right now after this. 
uh, so you can see some people bowling at the tournament. Um, and then uh, I think I have some pictures too. I might be trying to figure out how to load them up in the video also so you can see the people who actually won. But, um, and then I might be getting some videos of me in practice today because uh, I've, I've made a lot of improvement over the last uh, month or so, especially with my release, not coming around my body as much, um, getting my, my uh, release closer to my base leg, coming up behind the ball more, really, really, really moving along on that. So maybe I'll get some videos of that too at the very end. But anyways, make those comments down below. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much.